The topic of La Nina really does show how the global weather patterns can affect us locally. In a La Nina pattern, you can see there's cool wind off the west coast of South America, and then these stronger trade winds do blow east to west, and it really takes that uh, cool air all the way across the Pacific Ocean out toward the Australia area. Now for us, that means that a lot of the high pressure system does develop just off to the north of Hawaii, and that is an upper level high pressure system that cannot move off to the south because of those strong trade winds. And we do have that, uh, that clockwise flow around the high pressure system so the jet stream does move toward the north uh, and it goes through Alaska and then down into the continental United States now this winter here's what it looks like with a La Nina pattern so we do have that moisture feed that does come in from the Pacific so wetter than normal temperatures into the Pacific Northwest even all the way up toward southern Alaska getting into uh, the Vancouver area points off to the north in Canada now wetter than normal temperatures also uh, as as you make your way from, say, the Lincoln Omaha area points off to the south and to the east, including into most of the Midwest. It will be drier than average across the deep south. Now, for us, uh, we're going to be average to maybe slightly below average in terms of moisture. Uh, we do have that strong northwesterly wind, so can't really get a lot of uh, moisture in our viewing area because the uh, terrain does slope from a higher elevation to a lower elevation as you move off to the east. Now, as for the the temperature. It looks like it will be cooler than average, but that downsloping is also a warm flow for us. So we have many days over the winter. We do hit 50 degrees, 60 degrees. We think that's going to be the case for us this winter but really cold air can make its way into the northern plains and even in the, into the Pacific Northwest. And with all the sunshine they're getting into the south and out toward Texas, it looks like they will be warmer than average as we make our way through the winter. So with La Nina, that jet stream does go right over us. It will wobble back and forth between the cool air when it moves off to the south, cooler air will filter in and it moves back off to the north, warmer air will set up. We think this is going to be the story as we make our way through the entire winter. Now, the lows that travel along the uh, the uh, jet stream the surface lows this low when a low is to off to our north we have a strong uh, northwesterly wind which is dry and mild for us but when the lows track off to our south we will have uh, the possibility of some snow as we an easterly wind will give us cooler than average weather and we think that this is going to be the story as we make our way through the entire winter, possibly uh, less snow than average, but it could be just slightly above average, but nothing out of the extreme.